and our, our eye and eyesight will be <laughs> sight. So. My name is Michael King. Uh, I manage one of two teams in our intelligence and investigations department. We really focus on protecting athletes as anti-doping does. Um, so what a lot of people don't realize is that there's 11 anti-doping rule violations under the WADA code. Only two of those are effectively targeted via testing. So intelligence and investigations can play a role in these other anti-doping rule violations. Really important for us because it helps us to actually go after the people who encourage and facilitate doping rather than just targeting the athletes. We've been preparing for, for several months. Uh, we, we, we update our systems. We have uh, a lot of reach out with our partners around the world. The Games is a huge undertaking for everyone, huge multinational effort, and, and it's no different for us. So we act as a coordination point for law enforcement agencies and other anti-doping organizations around the world. The idea being that we want to coordinate as effectively as possible information that exists to ensure that we, we help drive a, a clean games for Paris 2024. During the games, our I, &I team will be on site in Paris uh, to be a point of coordination for any information that comes in during the games. And so it's really critical for us that we can receive, assess and action information immediately that if we need to, to ensure that we can make the games as clean as possible uh, in as quick a time frame as possible. We also use a tool which is uh, we call Reveal. It's a suite of tools that allow people from throughout the sporting world to contact our, our intelligence and investigations department in a confidential manner, an anonymous manner if they wish, via a web platform, anonymous WhatsApp, anonymous email. Uh, and that's a really crucial part of our uh, toolkit to help fight doping because people out there, the people involved in sport, always know more than we will ever know. They understand the sport, they understand the community, uh, and without their help, we simply can't do our job. We collaborate with law enforcement in, in many countries, particularly in France in the lead up to, to the Olympics. It's crucial for us again that when, when we need, these actions we need to do that might require law enforcement support. So we have excellent relationships, uh, particularly with French law enforcement, these relationships have been built over years of working together on other major sporting events. So we're in a really great position for Paris due to the, the strength of relationships and, and the goodwill of the partnerships we have in France. As an Australian, I have to say my favorite Olympic moment is when uh, Stephen Bradbury won the first Olympic winter medal uh, for Australia under fairly, uh, fairly controversial circumstances. A national icon was built uh, out, of, out of Stephen Bradbury being able to win that medal. So for me, that, that has to be my favourite Olympic moment. <laughs>